One, two, three. Come on. Oh, I'm top five for sure. I couldn't be any lower than five. Oh, the boys here at team was too early. I knew I was going to score. Anyone wearing a Ramwick jersey on 315 on a Saturday afternoon was a hero. Over to right for the corner. What a finish from Tom Wright. I reckon I first picked up a rugby ball, like many others, I reckon at the age of about three, probably earlier. Started, I think I played two or three seasons um, of the under sixes down at Clavelli Eagles, and that was where it all started for me, um, playing rugby union, and then from there on, uh, I was very fortunate to play with a lot of my friends now that I've still got, and went on to um, play there up until I think the under 12s it might have been, under 11s, under 12s, and um, yeah, some of the best times of my life playing down there. I only caught up with a few of my, you know, some of my closest friends um, that I started playing football with at Clovelly Eagles as a young fella. Um, and the journey that we've all split, everyone goes down different paths and does different things, but to come back to like where it all started and we go for a, you know, a coffee down, um, down the beach or whatever over Christmas when people have got a little bit more time off and we always have a, you know, a bit of a giggle and a laugh um, as to what everyone gets up to these days. And um, I'm still kicking the ball around at the moment, but yeah, it's, it's very funny. And I, I do cherish the times that we had down there. Wallaby number 939, Tom Wright from the Brumbies. Some of my heroes growing up, and a lot of the guys in, in this environment will say that their parents are their big heroes. Um, and again, it's, it's one of those ones where you, you probably don't appreciate the, the work that they do taking you around until you get a little bit older. But at the time, it was all the guys wearing the gold jersey and, um, and wearing those, those football jerseys in general, whether it was for me, Randwick Rugby was down the road and anyone wearing a Randwick jersey on 3.15 on a Saturday afternoon was a hero for me. Before I got home and watched the Wallabies at 7.15 or, um, and it's funny now, I was only talking to Bernie, our new Brumbies coach, obviously, and uh, I've actually got a photo of me and him when he's um, just finished a training session down at Coogee Oval and his Wallabies kid as a player. And I've got my little um, gold jersey on as a, like just a little young fella supporter, probably kicking all the balls back uh, at the end of his goal kicking session and stuff. So. Uh, I was obviously a pest, uh, lingering around, asking for autographs, photos, and they were gave it all the time they had. And uh, to be able to hold on to photos, that's pretty cool. And but yeah, definitely over the years, I've had a you know my fair share of uh, guys that I've looked up to. Uh, I think the idea of us being on TV is like we're extremely fortunate, and obviously we set an example. And you know, the little bit of time that we give might make one person's day, it might make two people's day. But I think it's extremely important because I still recognise the importance that you know people in. Uh, back in the day gave me uh, when I was pestering them for photos and autographs and uh, it's the least we can do. He flicks it out the back door and a child for Tom Wright. My first Wallaby game was uh, probably, yeah, wind up all the way back. We started on the Monday of that week, the second Bledisloe of 2020 and obviously we a lot of guys remember 2020 for the, the COVID year and it was a strange one because you know, I was going to be making my debut and it was at Suncorp and which is for us as the Wallabies is a home game and you know initially I was like righto so I want to tell my family and everyone wants to be involved and but you know that that COVID word which seems like a lifetime ago now but like uh, ruined sort of what could have been much more of a uh, family experience for me like have been able to get my my partner and my family and everyone up there and I still was able to live out like one of the biggest dreams you know a kid could ever see but to be able to Wear a gold jersey against anyone, so, so special to be able to make your debut at home against the All Blacks, win, have like one of the best wins in, in recent memory for me um, over the last three or four years or whatever, and backs against the wall at stages in the game, and to be able to look back in you know, another 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, uh, I know that I'll be able to look back at that game as so, so special, and uh, it was awesome to be able to come away with a win as well. A beautiful ball away. It's on here for Australia. Right looking for what? Yeah, the try uh, against England was pretty special in a sense that, uh, as I touched on before, a lot of friends and family there and probably got a little bit ahead of myself and gave a big point to the crowd. But uh, I had a, you know, a ton of very close friends um, sitting up there and the members who um, obviously let me know that they were coming out to support. Back to run! Run! As I said, maybe a little bit ahead of myself because I hadn't put the ball down yet, so a few people remind me of that. But yeah, I've got a lot of thanks to throw to Whitey there. Um, he shows up on just about every line break that you'll see. Uh, he doesn't always get the ball, but you know, you know he's going to be there. So uh, for those watching Perseverance, if you're nine, you'll get one eventually. Uh, but yeah, big, big thanks to him. And then uh, big thanks to my friends in the, in the crowd who got a little shout out too.
I've got two French Bulldogs um, in Canberra with us. So I've got an older one who's seven, is Harley. Uh, and then I've just got maybe, I think he's about 18 months, maybe 18 months and 24 months. Uh, and his name's Hobbs, so two of them together, Harley and Hobbs. I, call, I tell the boys that I've got two sons with me um, at all times. And as I was saying before, the, the dads in the team shake their head and say, you don't know what sons are like to you actually have a couple of real ones, you know, so. Uh, but I treat them like they're, you know, like they're two humans. They're very spoiled, but um, I wouldn't change it to be fair. They're, they sleep in the bed with us and everything, so there's no turning back now. They do get sport. They regularly get updated wardrobes with, um, with vests. Uh, there's a couple of country road sweaters. Every year there's uh, Christmas like themed outfits like elves or Santa or... So whether or not they like it or not, they they know they're in for a photo shoot all the time, which is a little bit embarrassing and it takes away from their like, because they're real like masculine dogs, you know, like she dresses them up and I just take the photos or make them sit there with the biscuit or whatever. So I just do as I'm told, mate. Yeah, the coffee setup at home is, it's probably a little bit more in my own head than it is um, on the taste buds of those who enjoy a coffee. Just saying before, the best Christmas present I got in years was new coffee equipment. I thought I was here and now I've gone another step further. Um, I've got a spring-loaded tamper. Um, I'm quite the uh, coffee connoisseur, I dare say. Well, all the other boys will tell you that they're, they're more of a coffee connoisseur than me, so I don't know how long's a piece of string. You'll, uh, you'll, have, to, you'll have to try find who the coffee guru is. Latte art's the most important part. If you, if you stuff that, you may as well put it down the sink and go again. But um, the thing with my latte art is like when I'm pouring, I have no idea what you're pouring until like the end product. You might be doing like the, the heart or the like the, the flower. Or the other one is the you just make it a cappuccino and you pour the chalky sprinkles on top so it's hidden. But you didn't hear that from me, so I don't do that. <laughs> Australia the winners. They become the first country to win the trophy twice. Yeah, the opportunity to uh, to represent Australia at the World Cup in uh, in France would be yeah nothing short of incredible, mate. I got to experience a little dabble, obviously on the spring tour um, of late, playing in front of 80 odd thousand, and obviously being a thriller of a game. And yeah, the opportunity to to run it back and go across and try to create something pretty special with a group of guys who I definitely know we can do something like that with would be um, yeah would be awesome and. Yeah, ideally um, would be able to get some of my family over and my partner come across. I don't know if the dogs could get there or not, but uh, let's see if their French passport gets them in.